What's up guys, Roger Reps here, back another Saturday upload. You read the title, you read the thumbnail. You know what's going on. We got a little bit of a collection video. Now, re never really thought to make one of these videos, but I love watching other people's collection videos, so I'm gonna make one of my own, since I've amassed much more of a well-rounded collection as of late. Now, this video will be uploaded a couple weeks later, but this was made in December. So, with that out of the way, let's just get into it. I'm gonna start off with the new balances in my collection. And first from that, we've got the 2002R Protection Pack or Retro Future. This is the original color, the Rain Cloud Gray, which is just a classic New Balance gray tone colorway. Really love this pair, super comfortable. And I love all of the mismatched jagged cut panels. Obviously that's the design. We got the beautiful Harry suede and the mesh panels over the toe. It's just super comfortable, super breathable. A clean colorway you can wear with anything i mean what's not to like about this sneaker continuing with the new balances next we've got the jound 990 v4 uh which are called the phantom colorway in this all black and almost a super dark blue or purpley kind of tint you get in there this pair is super comfortable i really love the elastic laces it came with so it really is like a slip-on shoe super clean plain colorway can go with anything it's mad comfortable what's not to like and then completing my New Balance collection, at least for now, is the Joe Fresh Goods 2002R, which are the conversations amongst us. Yellow is my favorite color, and I love the subtle hits of this golden yellow all over the shoe. The various different materials with this nice tumbled leather, we got the ripstop on the toe, we got the suede on those yellow bits. It's just, it's just so nice, and the different materials add some texture, add some variance to the shoe. And then of course, it's a 2002R, so it's it's mad comfortable. Joe Freshgood's killed it with this pair. He's killed it with all of his collaborations, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think there's been anything lower than an eight out of 10 coming from Joe Freshgood's collaborations. So these are a solid pair. Moving on to another pair that's not really a sneaker, but everybody should have in their collection is the Salehi Bembery Crocs. I've got the purple urchin colorway. And these are definitely a favorite of mine. I, I just, the design is so goofy. It, it is quite literally Solehi Bembry's fingerprint. You can especially see it on the bottom here. I just love them. There's so many different colorways. You can get anything you want. And because it has the rubber here on the sole, it's much more durable than regular Crocs. So they'll last you much longer. As well as the heel strap that actually is adjustable with the Velcro. These are just the best form of a Croc that you could ask for. And they have this amazing wacky design. One of my favorite sneakers in my collection and it's not even a sneaker moving on to the adidas that i have in my collection we've got the 350 in the carbon colorway my now fiance got me these as a birthday gift uh, with the infinity lace so you don't got to worry about them coming untied you can tighten them up because the lace is elasticized it's a 350 in a clean black and white colorway you can wear it anywhere Continuing on with Adidas, we've got the 350 Mono Clay. These guys are a slight different variation on the 350, being made out of this plasticky kind of mesh material, which allows you to see the interior panel of the shoe, which just gives it this crazy design. I don't know what to call it, maybe the skeleton of the shoe. You can see through it, and I think it's super sick. There's a couple different colors of these. I got the these clay, this browny kind of orange colorway, just because I wanted something a little loud. Don't wear these guys too often, but during the summer they make a reappearance. Moving on from 350s, we got 380s. With these, the pepper, and also the evolved design from the 350s. I definitely prefer the 380s over the 350s. They're just more comfortable in every possible way. Really love these sneakers, and of any, any pair of 380s deserve a spot in anybody's collection, definitely. Continuing with 380s, we've got the Onyx pair, which was one of my first ever sneakers in my collection. I think the design is super sick. Infinity lace, so it's really easy to slip on and adjust without having to worry about the laces coming untied. An everyday comfy pair, especially during the spring and summer. Moving on from 380s, we got 700s. Starting out with these, the Ember in Flame, my now fiance. Got me these as well as a birthday gift. And as you can see from the close-ups, these are absolutely beat beyond belief. They are disgusting. <laughs> they deserve a full body sponge bath with how filthy they are. But nevertheless, I love them. As I mentioned before, next up we've got these, the magnet 
700s. These are slightly different with a slightly different material along the toe and the side panels with it being a more smooth mesh, which almost feels like a canvas, but not quite. I wish that they had made more of these with this type of material because I definitely prefer how these feel and look over every other pair of 700s. Magnets are never leaving my collection. And now we have two of my favorite Adidas sneakers in my collection. Starting out with these, the Quantums. These I had to hunt for quite a while to find, but finally did. And I really do love this pair. It's very comfortable. I really love the design with the, the X that's on this heel that it kind of forms, even though it doesn't actually form an X, it's slightly off, which is in the actual design, which is kind of baffling to me. But either way, really love this sneaker. Love the design, love the comfort super unique the second to last but definitely not least adidas sneaker in my collection are these the 500 highs in this brown colorway these are actually retail and i got them for retail earlier in the fall really love this pair as it's kind of like a sneaker boot very stable and very comfortable while doing that with the infinity lace obviously you don't really have to tie them you can just pull on it to tighten them up and with the materials of the shoe being this neoprene padding, it's insanely comfortable and it, you really can just slip them on. A staple for winter are these, or the next sneaker up, the Adidas NMDS1 Riot Boot. These are a collaboration with Pharrell and his Human Race brand. These are super sick. The design is out there. It's loud while this colorway is still muted because of the, all the varying textures and materials on here. I really love these. They're absurdly comfortable with the NMD S1 sole being super thick with boost. Honestly, on these, I don't need, even need to put in my replacement insoles. They're already comfortable enough. These can be worn to trudge through a winter storm with no trouble at all. Moving on from Adidas, we'll get into the Nikes in my collection, starting off with the MF Doom Dunk Highs. These guys have eluded me for a while. I'm very happy to have them in collection. As you saw from a recent video, I opened them up, just got them very recently, and I'm very happy to have them. MF Doom is one of my favorite music artists, and this sneaker collaboration does not disappoint. Once again, it's nice and monotone with all the gray and blacks on it, the varying textures, giving it some spice. The embroidered Doom on the side panel here, the super villain lace charms uh, for the laces, and then the soul having the artwork from his albums. It's just a, a crazy pair, and with it still being a nice gray monotone, you can wear it with anything. Really love this pair. Continuing with Nikes, we've got the Nike Blazer Mid, which are a Serena Williams and Virgil Abloh collaboration. This pair is super neat to me, obviously it being off-white with the styling, Virgil's design, but this one was in collaboration with Serena Williams over the colorway and everything going on. And I think they're super unique and pretty cool. I really love the sole on this shoe, which you can see it very obviously on the side with this gradient from pink to purple to gray, which also goes through underneath the sole. Although since I've worn them so much, it's kind of hard to see. Really love this sneaker, super interesting and a wonderful design with the Virgil's twist on the blazer. Next up, we've got the Off-White Air Force One Low, yet another one of Virgil's designs, and these are definitely up there with the best of them. All of the variants of the materials on the paling. Once again, the thing about having a monotone color palette with varying different materials and textures, this is one of the classic examples. Virgil kills it. Obviously, all the panels are all white, but we've got the mesh on the toe and the side panel. We got this plasticky ripstop around the toe strap. We got a clear plastic for the swoosh and then just the bare paper mache around the heel cup. Some suede on the heel, more ripstop on the tongue. This is just a super neat and interesting pair. A nice clean white shoe that you can wear with anything. Unless you're like me and have absolutely trashed them. Air Forces, classic sneaker, and Virgil's twist does not disappoint. And continuing with Nike's, the last non-Jordan in my collection are these, the Sean Witherspoon Air Max 97 ones. These are the second sneaker that I added to my collection and for good reason. Obviously, the Sean Witherspoon Air Maxes are a classic and deserve a spot in anybody's sneaker collection. Got the Air Max One sole with the Max 97 upper. At least I don't believe has ever been done any other time. It, 
in Nike's releases. The corduroy material on the upper that rips away over time, I think it makes it look better. It ages like a fine wine, you know? And the vibrant colors, yet still being super wearable. It's, it's an incredible thing when a shoe is this vibrant with color and yet I can wear it with anything. Wonderful sneaker that deserves a spot in everybody's collection, guaranteed.